Okay, good. <laughs> so today we're going to be simplifying radical expressions. Wait, it's it? part two. All right, you ready, class? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Sing me something. Yeah. 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 That's always good. I'm not streaming. Nothing beats live programming. Here we go. Okay, so last time we talked about simplifying square roots, and now we're just going to take it to the next level. Here it goes. Are there any factors of 147 in which one of them is a perfect square? You got it? What? 49 and 3. 49 times yeah. 3, good, yeah. It's not visibly apparent, but it's there. 49 times 3. So, let's do it like this. Okay, we did a little splitteroni. It's my favorite pasta. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> you don't have splitteroni? 49 times 3, what's the square root of 49? Seven. Yes? Seven. seven. So can we write 7 root 3? <coughs> 7 root 3 is here. Good. What's the square root of x squared? Meaning what times what equals x squared? Yes? X. X. Does that make sense? What times what equals x squared? X. 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 So we write x. Many times people say this is the square root of x or something. It's a common mistake. It's not. It's just x. What times what is y to the 6? Yes? y to the 4th times y to the 2nd. Not, not necessarily. y to the 4th times y to the 2nd would be uh, taking too many steps. Let me ask you this, or that, the class. What times what is y to the 6? y to the 3rd. y to the 3rd. y to the 3rd. y to the 3rd. Times y to the third equals y to the sixth. Because you add exponents. Because oh, right? you add exponents, right? Okay. Because you add exponents, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. a bummer. Okay. I'm gonna have to scrap this one. Okay. It's a bummer. Yeah. Bye. I want to say bye. Yeah. The battery flat is flashing. Yeah. The battery flashing. Oh, say bye. My bad. Oh. Say bye. We're gonna get it back. Bye. 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 We had such. A... Okay. And. We're back. Okay, so we have a little issue with the battery. Yeah, technical difficulties with the battery. But I'm a trooper. Are you guys? You're good? We're cool? Yeah. We're, We're, good. Good. We're, We're able to pick it up again? Okay, nice. Did you say woohoo? Woohoo! <laughs> I wish I could do that. So the square root of y to the 6 is y cubed. Any questions? No. No. All right, now over here. Yes? How is y cubed? y cubed times y cubed is y to the 6, right? Okay. Remember the rule for adding exponents? Okay. So that's what it means, right? It looks weird because we add the exponents, yeah. But y cubed times y cubed is y to the 6. But isn't y cubed also the square root of y to the 9? No. No. The square root of y, there is no real square root of y, square root of y to the 9. What times what equals y to the 9? You're confusing, which is common, that and that. Okay. What's the square root of 9? 3. three. Yeah. Square root of y to the 9 is... We have to talk about this now. Let's talk about this. Can we split the z to the 7 so that one of the factors can be perfectly squared? Yeah. Z to the 6. Say it louder. Z to the 6 and z. Z to the 6. Why can't you do z to the 4th and 3 and you can split z to the 4th? Okay, good. If we did z to the 4, times z to the 3, we would again have to split z to the 3. So we'd have to do it in two steps. Okay. This is the simplest form. So this is a way to do, reduce our steps. So what is the square root of z to the 6, just like y to the 6? It's z cubed. Z cubed. So I'm going to break this down again. Here we go. Z to the 6 times z. So I broke it down just into two pieces. This is z cubed. Does this change at all? No? You can say no. So this is z 
cubed square root of z. Good. So final answer multiplies all these four things. So on the outside, we have a 7. What else do we have on the outside? A oh, question, question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. If it's z to the 7, and it's, and it's not like z to the 4th, let's say, or something that can be reduced into, you know, like two numbers or whatever, would you suggest that we do, like, the number before it and 1? Yes, make it an even power, the highest even power. The highest, okay. The highest even power. Okay. Z to the 7, make it z to the 6, and another one. So z to the 13 would be what? Z to the 12. Z to the 12, 12 times Z. Z. Good. Z to the 101 would Z be? Z to the 100. 100. Okay. So Z to the 101 would be Z to the 50 square root of Z. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's multiply all these outsides. I'm so happy people ask some questions. It's great. Seven's on the outside. What else? X. 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 What else? Y. What else? Y. What else? Anything else on the outside? No. no. Yes. What's on the inside? 3Z. Three Z. Three Z. My goodness. That's it. Qua, 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 questions. Are there any? That was my DJ. Thing. Okay. So what's going on? Oh, we forgot. Well, uh, well, watch out for the way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 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 There's a little, this is our love zone. <laughs> you can't erase the love. Don't erase the love. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a rule for exponents. Okay, Mrs. Spot. Spot. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, I don't do windows. Alright, three. <laughs> okay. Here's the issue. A rule for square roots. Does anyone know it off? That, what's a rule for square roots? Yeah, do you, you know? can't have it as a denominator. You can't have square roots in the denominator, right? That's the rule we need to address. How do we get rid of the square roots on the bottom? Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, times it by square root of two over square root of two. Right. You basically multiply this fraction, top and bottom, by whatever the bottom is, canceling it. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by square root of two times square root of 2. What is the square root of 2 divided by square root of 2? 2. 1. 1. One. Oh. One. Oh. You know, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <go ahead. laughs> Quick on the draw. Yeah. <laughs> so in a sense, we're really multiplying this by 1, meaning we're not changing the number. When you multiply something by 1, you're not changing it, right? So we're not changing this. We're multiplying it by 1. But what it does, is that it'll cancel the bottom. So how do we multiply fractions? Um, across. Across, across, right? Across. So Can three. you cross multiply like not in this case, but can you also like cross multiply it? Oh like, like cancel. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. We um, would be able to we can't do that here. No, not in here, but like in general. Another one, sure. That's okay. multiplying fractions. Wait, so let's new. multiply can fractions. Yes. There's a two and two, can you cross off two? These two you mean? Yeah. We'd be left with the same thing at the beginning, right? This three over oh, yeah. this two. Good, good, good. So let's multiply the top. What is three times square root of two? Three. Three, three times three square root of two. two. Yeah. Three times square root of two. What is the square root of two times the square root of two? The square root of two. two. No. Square root of four. Square root of two squared. Four. Four. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the two multiplied. Right? So what's the square root of four, though? Two. 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 So it's just going to be square root of two. Oh. Why do you have to put it over here? What's the square root of 4? There. Oh. We have a question. Question! So, as long as um, the numbers are the same, we can multiply them? As long as the numbers are the same. Like, why didn't we multiply 3 and 2? Because they're not the same. Oh, oh they're not. A, yeah, one's in the square root, one's not. So you can't combine them like that. Oh, but if they're both in the square root, even if it's like, even Just if like the 3 was in the square root, I can right, make right. it 6. Square root of 6. Okay, yes, square root yes. of 6. Good, good, exactly. So this is the answer. Let's do another one. What about... Okay. 6 divided by square root of 3. So, so what do we multiply top and bottom by? Square root of 3. It's a little thinking. Okay, I think that's good. I don't know. 
have to multiply by the bottom. All right? That, in a sense, cancels it. I want you guys to start keeping in mind, when you multiply two square roots times each other, the result is just the number underneath. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 equals 2. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 equals square root of 9, which is 3. Right? You with me, anyone? Any questions about this? So that they're the same. So, top and bottom, in red. Square root of 3. Square root of 3. Hit it. What's we writings? Six. Square root 3. 6 root 3. Over square root of 9. Over square root of 9, which is what? 3. three. Square root of 9 is 3. Yes. Simplify. Time to simplify, yeah. It's time to simplify. What cancels here? Do, can we do anything with the square root of 3? No, no, because it's inside. There's no other square roots. So we just leave that alone. 6 two and over one. 3. 2 and 1. But just 2. Just 2. The answer is 2 square root of 3. Yay. Yay, 2 root 3. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the party! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. There it is. So, 6 over root 3 simplifies to 2 times root 3. Questions? Questions are great. They're golden, they're silver, platinum, and bronze. Okay, anything else? Let's do one more thing. Are they going to have variables? In the variables, yeah. If the bottom had square root of x, you can multiply by top and bottom square root of x. Right? Okay, we're going to do one more thing. You've never seen anything like this in your entire life. Prepare yourself. Be prepared. Okay. Okay. You think we can do this in five minutes? I'm down. I know you can. Yeah. All right, here we go. We need to multiply top and bottom by something, right? Because right. we have the square root on the bottom, right? Yeah. Right. What do we multiply by so that the square root goes away? What do you think? Yes? 2 plus root 3. 2 plus root 3? Let's try it. 2 plus root 3 times 2 plus root 3. I'm going to do this real quick, all right? So you see. Can you help me with the foil, actually? Foil it. Four. We're experimenting. Four. We're experimenting. Four plus. Oh, your time, your yeah. Two root three. Right. Two root three. Right. Two three. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. We're experimenting. Two root three plus another two root three. Yeah. Plus. Nine. Square root of nine. Square root of nine, which is three. <laughs> right. Three. Combine like terms. Seven. Seven. Plus. Six. All right. Okay, so 2 root 3, oh, I wrote on myself. 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 4 root 3. This is what part of the lesson today. Oh, like 4 root 3, okay. Did we get rid of any square root, though? No. No. So we don't multiply by 2 plus root 3. 2 minus. Yes, we will. Question. Okay. Wouldn't you do, um, two, 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 equals 4? Yes. Yeah. No, this is a... This is a uh, binomial. It's like two pieces. So if we multiply it by another binomial, that's is that foiling. Necessary? We have to foil. If we multiply this by itself, it's foiling. Because you have a plus between. What are you suggesting to write? Like, okay, two, and then parentheses, two, plus root three. So you want to multiply this by two then? Yeah, because you're trying to. But that won't get rid of the square root of three. The square root of 3 needs to leave this premises. Doesn't it just have to leave the, the, the bottom? Denominator? Yeah, it, leaves the, it has to leave the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So, what I like to call what we multiply by the bottom, multiply it by its evil twin. That's what I call it. Okay. So, check out the evil twin 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 3. Again, you have to make the top and bottom the same. You have to make them the same. Now, let's do it. Distribute the top, please. Two times this. Distribute, yes. Well, four minus two square root of three. Four minus two root root three. Any questions about the top? Nope. All right, now we need to foil the bottom. 
do it? Volunteer, yeah. Okay. So you do two times two, which is four. Two times two is four. And then you do two times uh, negative square root of three. Yeah, which is? So, so wait. So would you do two negative square root of three? Or do we so do minus two? two. Oh, yeah. Minus two. Minus square two. root of three. And right. then you do Keep going. Uh, square root of three times two. So again, two square root of Plus or minus? Plus. Plus two square root of three. Anyone see what's going on? I do. And then you do minus. Um, minus, very good. Minus. Minus the square root of three. Because the nine. Square root of nine. 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 Oh, yeah. What's the square root of nine? Three. 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 And I'm done. Whoa. Because they do the NFL. Alright. So, let's combine like terms. Four minus three is what? One. 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 Did the top stay the same? Can we make the stop? I'm not going to yeah. change the top. Four minus two root three. Loop. Okay. One. Negative two root three plus two root three it cancels out. Cancels. <gasps> this coincidentally, thank you. I'm glad it's exciting for you too. Coincidentally <laughs> or always? Yeah. Is what? It, is this an always thing or just for this particular problem? This particular problem, it turned into one. So one on the bottom is just gone. So just four minus two square root three. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> nice. So, what do you multiply before we finish? What do you multiply the denominator by when you have a case like this when it's plus or minus? It's evil twin. It's evil twin, kind of like it's difference of square term. Yeah, hold on. All right. I'll show you what I mean. Last, we're not going to do it, the problem, but if you had like square root of 4 plus 2, what would you multiply top and bottom by in this case? Yes? Square, square root of 4 minus 2. Square root of 4 minus 2. Any questions about that? And then you'd foil and distribute. All right. Thank you, class. That was an adventure with the battery. Bye, world. Bye. Have a milkshake. Bye. Stay in school.